Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Freddy Santiago and if it's your first time tuning in here, allow me to give you my warm welcome. For today's video, I will be taking you down memory lane. I will be creating a look that is inspired by the makeup when I was starting as a makeup artist. So, ito yung mga looks na pinaflex ng mga mamamamahan ko sa beauty parlor. <laughs> beauty parlor, <laughs> ang dashi na. These are the looks na nakagis ng kung ginagawa nila Mama Erika, nila Tito Archie, nila Tita Abet. <laughs> Sumalangit pa ba mga kanulubang nila? <laughs> ito yung mga looks na kinikreate nila pag may kinukulunahang Miss Faith, Miss Hope, Miss Charity, mga ganyan sa Miss Barangay sa basketball court. Ito yung mga pang malakas ang looks na nilalabas ni Aching Benny at ni Tita Lali pag may Miss JS or may magre Elena sa Santa Cruzan. And since it's Flores de Mayo, I think it's only fitting that I look back to these um, memories, to these looks that made me fall in love with makeup. And if you wanna know kung paano makakatipid sa makeup this Sagalahan and Kalasahan season, tutok lang mga Mars and let's have some fun. Right, so first things first, I have gone ahead and started preparing my skin using the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. And then I followed that up with the Hydrating Water Fresh Cream from Bobbi Brown. And I'm just going to follow that up with this under eye primer from Smashbox. So these are the luxuries na I never knew were important back in the days. Siyempre kasi, before, pag magpapamakeup ka, punta ka lang sa beauty parlor. Beauty parlor, ang tanda. Punta ka lang sa beauty parlor ng bagong liko, and then, ganun na, attack na agad. But, siyempre now, yaman-yaman na tayo. Kailangan, medyo iba na attack natin. At para hindi nagtututong ang uso, lip balm, very important. Para fresh lang. Yan, ganyan, ganyan. At dahil fiestahan season at uso ang ubi haraya, I will be using this eyeshadow na nabili ko sa TK Maxx. Mura lang to, promise. Huwag niyo ako i-judge. Yeah, but um, I really like these colors and these colors really reminds me of the early days of my life as a makeup artist. So this um, really beautiful purple and then this blue violet and then blue violet <laughs> and then this beige. But before that, I will begin with the eye primer first. Again, another luxury of modern day. Kasi nung araw, ang eyeshadow binabasa. Binabasa ang brush. Pero ngayon may primer na. Kasi shallow shallow na. So I will begin with this color first. Promise first time pa lang siya gagamitin. I'm going to lay that. I'm just going to blend that. It has a nice color payoff. Medyo challenging lang siyang i-blend. Parang ubi halaya, since inspired naman siya sa ubi halaya. So, I guess texture niya is parang similar to Everbilena. Because Everbilena gives a very good color payoff. You just have to really keep blending it. And then going with this color, yung medyo purple-violet. I'm just going to lay that on the very outer edge.
And then using a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to use this um, blush color. I'm going to use that as a transition color just to soften the edges as well. So, para medyo modern yung dating niya. And then going back with the first brush that I used earlier, I'm just going to clean it a bit. I'm going now in with this beigey champagne color and that will just go on the very center. create a nice halo effect and then using a pencil brush I will be using this cake liner again one of those things na usong uso nung araw yung mga eyeliner na binabasa kasi hindi pa naman uso nung mga gel liner so these are the eyeliners that I learned how to do liner with so I'm just using it dry just going to put that on both sides of the eyes. And then blending it again with the same brush that I used earlier. So that's a very good way to ground the color because sometimes violets and purples can be too overwhelming samata. The best way to really ground it is to use black or dark brown. Parang hindi siyang pang ginom bag. And I'm going again with this brush and this blush. I'm actually mixing those two colors. Kasi medyo walang effect yung light pink. So. I'm using the rosy one as well just to create a bit more transition. And then using a tight lining brush that I dipped in water, I am going now with this liner again, but this time wet. Just going to create a paste. This is an actual cake liner, but you could use any matte black eyeshadow as well, I suppose. Anyway, yun naman yung magilagawa ko ng araw. And I'm just going to press that. Or to be honest, you could just use gel liner as well. I'm just using this because I want this to feel authentic to me. Right, so now that I've done pretty much all the eye works, I mean all the eyeshadow works, I'm just really cleaning the under eye. And then we're good to color correct and conceal and then base. For color corrector, I will be using this one from Becca. I will be using it mainly on this area dahil lumalabas na ang sumpa ni Zenki. So, kailangan siyang i-conceal ng bonggang bongga. You don't need to do this if you don't have extreme pigmentation or hindi naman kayo tinutubuan ng balbas. So, kalmahan nyo lang pag nagko-concealer kayo. really downplay the pigments and the shadows of the beard. I think I'll also use it underneath my eyes but very very lightly. Ideally I wouldn't be using this but tawid ko na lang din.
For under eye concealer, I will be using the Secret Concealer from Laura Mercier. And then for this area, I will be using a foundation stick. So bear with me because I'm just going to really take my time with this. Um, base. This is quite short, then. especially if it's for <laughs> Carosa and you will be under extreme heat, so maglalatik siya pag hindi mo siya kinulukul ng bongga bongga. And I remember back in the days, <laughs> Pag may nagpapa makeup sa, sa beauty parlor. <laughs> so, ang makeup noon is um, walk in lang din, hindi uso ang appointment appointment. Walk in, walk in lang noon. Right, so that foundation has been really buffed down. And then for the actual foundation, I will be using the Skin Longwear Weightless from Bobbi Brown. Again, another luxury of a modern time. So this is way more coverage than I would ever use, even on myself. <laughs> Right, so that's the foundation done. Gosh, ang kapal as in. <laughs> kapal, kakaloka. But back in the days, um, we used to use this. Ito yung mga nakagis ng kong foundation. So this is the Summer Cake from Kokuryu. And anyone who attended their JS Prom in the 90s, in the late 90s, would know the color Orange Blush. <laughs> it's such a popular color. And the other one is Rosette. Oh, smell. Brings back so many memories. And then this one, Prag Medio Social Social, the Max Factor, Factor, Max Factor um, pancake. So, ito yung, <laughs> pag ito yung ginamit, I think 150 yung charge sa makeup. Pag ito, 200. And then, pag nakabukas yung aircon sa salon, plus 50 pesos. So, 250. <laughs> 
in the late 90s and it is applied by a sponge like this. So, babasain yung sponge and then apply siya kung minsan tatlo kayo magkakasunod na may makeup at hindi magpapalit ng sponge. Isang sponge lang talaga siya. <laughs> as in, as in salo-salo together. Kakalok. And now to create a bit of lift, this is something that I learned as well back in the days. Although it's being resurrected again. But again, I suppose it never really left. So, mga tuldok-tuldok, mga ganyan. Tribal-tribal. To create the highlight. I'm going to buff that again with the same foundation brush. Another thing they used to do back in the days is kung ano yung lipstick mo, yun din ang blush mo. Pero syempre, medyo angat-angat na tayo ngayon. So, I will be using a cream blush. So the foundation has settled really nicely onto my skin and now I'm just going to powder that. And then going back in with this blush that I used earlier, just going to swirl my brush there, pick up all the color. I think that um, blue undertone pink will really complement the eyes. And to keep this look looking modern, I'm going in with a bronzer. And then going back to the eyes again, I will be using this black pencil on my lower lash line but I'm just going to create a series of dots because I don't want a solid line. And then using the pencil brush, I'm just going back in with this purple violet and I'm just going to smudge that on my lower lash line. I'm just going back in with this foundation brush dahil 
nakita ko up close yung foundation ko. Naloka ako sa kanya. Para siyang yema sa kapal. So, I'm just buffing it out a bit. There you go. And for mascara, I will be using this Smokey Eye from Bobbi Brown. I believe a popular brand then well at least to be was Avon pero wala naman akong Avon mascara so I'll just use what I have and Smokey Eye mascara is actually a great choice and you know me I'll be using false lashes as well so mascara is just really to blend my natural lashes with the false lashes. Right, so I just added my trusty Divisoria lashes and now I'm just gonna do a bit of nose contouring. And then moving to brows, I will be using this Brow Sculptor first from Strokes. And then I'm going to refine that with this brow painter. And then I'll set that with this brow fixer. And finally for lips. Now back in those days, a very popular color was, if I remember it right, Avon's Wild Orchid and it's very reminiscent of Max Candy Yum Yum. It's that really striking bold pink. But because I'm trying to create a modern version of those days look, I will be going nude with the lips. So I will begin with this a lip pencil first. And then I will be using this nude lip color from NARS. And we're done! And there you have it, a modern Flores de Mayo inspired look. I really enjoyed doing this video and walking down the memory lane. And it's not every day that you get to feel and look like Irena Elena. Normally, yung mga kamag-anak lang ng Hermana Mayor, yung pamangkin or anak, or if walang maganda sa angka nila, magpapauwi ng kakilala galing Manila para isagala. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I love doing it. And as always, if there is a look that you want me to create for you, just put it down in the comment section and I will try my very best. Also, feel free to follow me on my Instagram. It's somewhere in here. And while we're at it, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing and turn that notification on so you will be notified when a new video comes up. I hope to see you again on my next one. But until then, always remember, be happy and be kind to yourselves. Bye!